Hi guys! So we finally have our next Summoner's 10th times 10, 10, 10 times 10 festival. And it's the Monster Skill Max Level Up event. I am kind of disappointed with this event. I mean, it's a good event, okay? It's a good event. But uh, this one, good. This one, excellent. This one, even better. You can choose your net 5. This one is kind of okay because if you miss your Hall of Heroes, this is your chance to get those uh, LD units, which is also good. Uh, this one's pretty decent, but it's kind of not like um, this kind of amazing and exciting event, right? Because it's just an upgraded version of the, the, the regular event that they do. Um, this one also, uh, because you can max level. Usually, they give you only two skill up for, a f for each of this. Two skill up for a um, net five, two skill up for a four star, and two skill up for the two A's. Now, you can max level them for this, which is kind of nice. But to me, it's like, um, to me, who is like uh, almost have everything max level. Yeah. I mean, I, I can still like max level the newer four star, uh, the Cybox, maybe. And the new net 5 that I recently have. But most of my net 5 has... Well, well, some of them doesn't have skill up. Yet. But for those that doesn't have skill up, usually I don't use them that often. So, uh, this one is... You just have to do... Uh, reach 100 daily points, which is... If you're playing the game, you do this every day. Okay? So, it's easy. It's like... Just play normally and you get this easily. But, uh, okay, the reward is LD scroll, legendary scroll, and then just skill up. This is all the rewards. This one is not, this one is eh. But you get energy, that's good. Mystical scroll, LD scroll, legendary scroll, and then you can every 10 times. So that means you can only finish this event in 30 days. No? Because you, you can only complete it like the daily mission once a day, right? So 10 days, you can max level a 4 star unit. 20 days you can max level a second awakened monster and 30 days you can max level a five star monster and i think the most interesting about this event is something i mean i think it's this line here where is the line wait <laughs> i thought i read it somewhere eh when, oh, this one. Monster release after 8.3.4 update are excluded from this event. So, the 8.3.4 uh, update is the one where they release uh, the, the original design of the Witcher's Collab unit. After this update, they haven't released any new monsters yet. Okay, so I think this is important is because... Oh, I can't show it now, I think. The last time they have a sentence like that is, uh, wait, no, this one. Yeah, the last time they have those kind of sentence where it says you can only uh, summon monsters. That is like, uh, it doesn't say here, but I think uh, for this event, which is early January, they did has a line also that says you can only summon a net 5 that uh, has been released up to like a certain update and you can't do it after this event started. Any net 5 that you they release, you can't summon it. So this is the same thing. So that makes me think this also lasts like uh, this lasts 6 months, which is longer. The event just now Wait, where was it? <laughs> oh, wait, it's not here. The event that this event, it lasted 90 days. So for sure, within these 90 days, they're going to release a new monsters. And the last time they released, a, I mean, we expect them to release new monsters. I was expecting them to release, to come to us to release new monsters and of somewhere in June, but it doesn't happen. So now, I'm like pretty sure they're going to release a new monsters before the end of July. Probably near the end of July because, well, you see, 30 days, you can max level a 5-star unit. 
Okay. So end of July, they have another um, 10 times 10 event, right? That makes me think this one is new monsters related. Again, I'm still hoping we're going to have two collab this year, which is a perfect timing is the, if they're releasing this with a new monsters. The last time they released new monsters, not counting uh, the, the 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 original design of the Witcher because the original design of the Witcher unit they release it end of May. Uh, the the new monsters they release uh, mid April, right? Mid April they release hackers. So by the end of July, it's it's like almost three months. Usually they they release new monsters every two months. So that's why I expect this to be like new monster related. Hopefully it's collab. Hopefully this is the second collab of the year because of, of the timing and everything and the wording of this new event kind of make me uh, hopeful that we're going to have another collab this year. If not another collab, then it's going to be a new monsters because of this sentence here. The most important sentence in this uh, event is this one. Okay, so they're gonna release new monsters because this takes 30 days. So in July, they're definitely gonna release. I mean, I said definitely, but <laughs> you never know. My my guess is they're gonna release new monsters in um, July, maybe end of July, could be mid July, but I think it's gonna be end of July. Okay, so I mean, you can't scale up, you can't scale up the four star and five star anyway of the new monsters. So you just choose whatever you want to scale up. Um, in the monster that you have and my suggestion is you scale up those unit that have uh, uh, a lot of skills what I mean about a lot of skills is uh, wait this one right like this this doesn't have skill up right this has skill up, this has skill up so like this this one you only need 6 this one is only 11 uh, usually monsters net five they kind of need between I would say there's some that needs only nine I believe, but at most I think it's thirteen I could be wrong it's either thirteen the max so I would go for those that needs a lot of skill up because it's several ones right if you max skill uh a unit that needs thirteen thirteen uh devil mons then the one that needs only nine. You rather go for the 13, but of course you max those that you really need. Uh, like you really need to use that you use often. That's what I meant. Okay. Don't just because they have like uh oh, this one is passive. Don't just re uh max those units that you don't use, okay? That you don't plan to use anyway. Uh this one I think oh this one has a lot of skill up. This is 13. So it's mostly 13 or 14. I don't think there's a 15. Usually it's bit. This is 12. Yeah. There's a unit like uh, some math. I think. Oh, some math is have a lot of skill. I thought no. This is like 14. Wait, no. Oh, this is 15. Five, four, six. Ah, if you have some math, then it's perfect. You can scale up the some math using this event because it's 15. So we still see 15. I don't think we see 16, right? 15 is probably the most. And this one is, oh, this one is 10. I thought I know there's a nine. Someone with only need nine skill up. Maybe a Leo? Uh, even though Leo is good, I'd rather you go like skill up those uh, like uh, some math. This is five. Yeah, Leo only nine. Okay. I think this is also nine to, no, this is five. Four. Yeah, this is nine. Like the Dragon's Knight only needs like nine skill up. So I would rather you go for those that needs more skill up. And of course, for the four star, the same thing. Okay. Oh, and also don't skill up uh, like this guy because you can get the four star counterpart. Don't skill up a five star that is fusion, that has a fusion counterpart like the Byeongchul, you can just fuse. It's not that effective or efficient to skill up this on this event or use devil mons, right? You can just fuse the Gapsu to skill up this uh, Dokebi lots. And also those that have like a 4 star counterpart, you can just like this, you can just summon the 4 star and then skill them up. Of course, uh, for the 4 star, same thing. 
Don't scale up like uh, vert because you can fuse vert to skill them up. Fusable units, just fuse them. It's easier to fuse units nowadays anyway, right? Uh, for 2A, I recommend you scale up those that has like this. Attack bar recovery, this is like more important. Uh, damage, those that has only like the skill up is only damage, I think you can skip those. The one that I uh, you skill up is those that have uh, additional harmful effect rate chance or attack bar recovery, those that makes a difference. You go for those. Don't go for like uh, this one is just damage. You could skip this for this event, I mean, okay? For those that only add damage, I think you can skip. For those that have like attack bar recovery, harmful um, effect rate increase, those are much more important. Of course, go for those units that are you use more often, like uh, this one, recovery is nice. Okay, damage, eh. Oh, this one is actually can kind of skip because it doesn't have like a tech bar. Harmful effect is good. Increase is good. Uh, who else is, what is this one? This one is just damn, oh. Oh, and the most important thing is if it has a cooldown time, uh, reduce in a cooldown time in the skill up. That's important because you can use skill more often, which is good because this is the most important. Just go for those that has this. Had this first. And then like additional like harmful effecting or something, okay? Don't go for those that do more damage. Usually, I don't think additional 20% damage is that good cons uh, in uh, instead of the cooldown time like this one. If you can use the skill more often, that's way really much better, okay? So that's what I, th I think about this new event. It's kind of meh for me, but well, it's like you get a lot of skill up for like a five star at least a five star that i want to skill up who else have not skill up i wonder if i have not most of my newer units have skill up unless those that i don't plan on like this one <laughs> which is eh, still meh right i don't know i'll just find something that i want to how much this is only this is only 10 though i'm not gonna skill this i mean it's a crap unit and it only like 10 devil mons. I don't want to go for that. But uh, most of my unit has uh, devil mons. I think there's a few that is still... Uh, this one... Oh, this one is a 4 star. <laughs> uh, I think there's a few that I'm still missing. But the one that I used often all has like uh, max skill up already. So, oh, for 4 star, oh, no, 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 this one, because I have the collab version, that's why I skill up. I might skill up the side box, or maybe one of this, just, just because I almost max skill on my 4 star unit, anyway. I think this, oh, wait, it's skill up. This is also skill up, wait. Ah, oh, Beth at least is not skill up. I could go for Beth, oh, wait, oh, this is a, this is an uh, dupe Camilla, by the way. I don't think that's my main Camilla. My main Camilla has max skill. Okay, i uh, talked too much, too long about this thing. So, yep, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to, as usual, comment, like, subscribe. Okay, bye.